So question number one. So this one is operations. So we have to first follow the rule of bod mass. B O D M A S. So we have to do everything inside the bracket first. So let's do this summation. So we have 4.273 plus 2.3. What is that? So that will be um, 6. 6.573 so now we can uh, do the subtraction so 9.03 so 9.03 minus 6.573 so um, so we take this out to that will be um, 10 minus 3 is 7 so that will be uh, 8, 10, 9, 10. So 10 minus 7 is what? 3. 3 plus 2, 5. So 9 minus 5 is 4. 8 minus 6 is 2. And that will be your answer. 2.457. That's part A. Now moving on to part B. This is just a fraction subtraction question. So what you'll have to do first is to find a common denominator, right? You can just take these two and multiply them. So nine times seven for the denominator. And for the top, you will have to cross multiply. So eight times seven minus six times nine. So eight times seven is what? Uh, 42 minus 6 times 9 is 54 over 9 times 7 is 63 so let's do the math so 54 minus 42 it's 2 12 so now we have 42 minus 54 is minus 12 over 63 so here we can uh, do some division divide by 3 we have what 4 Divide by 3, we have 21. So 4 over 20, minus 4 over 21, that will be your answer. Minus 4 over 21. Question number 2. Uh, given that 192 times 64.3 is 12345.6. So from this, we can uh, derive that 192 times 643 is 123. Four, five, six. If that was the case, but we're given this, right? We can derive this, this, is this. So now we have to solve this question. So what is 0 0.192 times 643? So the first thing we do is we multiply this 192 times 643, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So how many decimal place we have? We have one, three decimal place. So we have to do 1, 2, 3. And that is your answer. So one, two, three point four five six. So for this one, we have one two point three four five six over one nine two. So what can we do is we can take out the decimal place. So if we have one two three four five six. So to take out the decimal place, I have to move four places. Will be one. One, two, three, four times one nine two. So we know that one nine two times six four three is this number. So this number divided by one nine two is six four three. So the answer will be six four three divided by ten thousand, which will be so four zeros will be zero point zero six four three. That's the answer. Zero point zero six four three. Question number three, part A. In the diagram, five small squares are shaded. So we have one, two, three, four, five squares. Shade one more square so that the diagram has exactly one line of symmetry. So let's come to the side. We have one, two, three, four, five, five squares. One, two, three, four, five, five squares. Which means this is a square. So in that case, a uh, square has one, two, three, four, 
four lines of symmetry. So if I shade one more squares, I will need to have exactly one line of symmetry. So by elimination, you will find that if I shade this square, I will have this line of symmetry, only one line. And that is for part A. Now moving on to part B, it says that in the diagram, three squares are shaded. So we have one, two, three squares. Shade one more square so that the diagram has a rotational symmetry of order four. So when you see order four, you do 360 divided by four equal to 90, which means that uh, the squares can rotate by 90 in this uh, diagram. So if you take center O, and if you rotate this square by 90, where will it go? So it will go here. So you just have to draw this to shade this square to have a rotational symmetry of order 4. And that's it for part B. Question number 4. The total cost of 3 pencils is 1.23. Find the cost of 5 pencils. So 3 pencil is 1.23. So what is the cost of 1 pencil? It is 1.23 divided by 3. The cost of 5 pencil will be 1.23 divided by 3 times 5. Okay. Divided by 3 will be uh, 0 0.41 times 5. So let's do uh, 41 times 5 is what? 1 times 5 is 5, it is 20. So 205. And we have 2 decimal place, that will be 2 decimal place. So your answer is 2.05 is the cost of 5 pencils. Okay, so now moving on to part B. Arrange the following in order, starting with the smallest. So this one is 74%, and we have minus 0 0.7, 0 0.7. Minus 3 over 4. So let's write everything down in decimal places. So what is this? This is 74% over 100, which will give us 0 0.74. And this is 0 minus 0 0.7, 0 0.7. And then this will be uh, 3 quarters, which is minus 0 0.75. Okay, so which one is the smallest? Will be this one. So starting with the smallest, the next will be this one, which is minus 0 0.7, and then we have 0 0.7, and the last one is 74% as the largest. Question number five, we have in the diagram, ABC is a straight line, so ABC is a straight line, okay? We have BF, this line, is parallel to DE, this line. FBA, FBA is 74, DBF, DBF is 65. Find the angle CBD, CBD, this angle. That will be what? 180 minus 65 minus 74, which will give you 41. So angle CBD is 41 degrees for this part. So now we have to go to part B, which is find the reflex angle BDE, BDE. Reflex angle means angle more than 180, but less than 360. So we are to find this angle. So uh, what do we know? We know that these two lines are parallel, so we can uh, continue this line. And then we observe that So we can also uh, continue this line. This is 90. So we can observe that this angle is equal to this angle inside. So let's find this angle first. So this angle is this angle. So this is 90. This is one, sorry, this is one, no, this is not 90. My fault, this is not straight line. So this is uh, 180. So this big angle will be 180 minus 65. So 180 minus 65 is what? So 7, 10, 5, 1, 1. 
So this big angle is 115, which means the angle on the inside is 115. So this angle will be what? It will be 360, 360 minus 115. So 6, 5, 10, minus 5 will be 5. 5 minus 1 is 4. And then 3 minus 1 is 2. So the reflex angle BDE will be 245. Question number 6. By making suitable approximations, estimate the value of this fraction. So the first one we can see is square root of 3.98. So what is the closest square number to 3.98? So we know number 4. So we have to write everything down to one significant figure. So 3.98 will be 4 to one significant figure. 602.3 will be 6 to one significant figure and 2.987 will be 3 to 1 significant figure so now we have to replace those values in the fraction so square root of 4 times 600 divided by 3 so 3 1 and that will become 200 so 2 times 200 will be 400 so the estimate value for this fraction is 400. Question number 7. The diagram shows a triangle A. Triangle A is mapped onto triangle B by an enlargement. The enlargement has center 3, 3. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. That's the center of the enlargement. And has scale factor minus 2. Okay. So now we have to draw and label triangle B. So triangle A has three points, this point, this point, and that point. So let's begin with this point. So how can, how can we move from the center to this point? We have to move one, two to the left, and one to the bottom. So that will be, I'll have to move um, minus two, which is left, and then minus one. So now we have to multiply this by the scale factor of minus two, to find the image of this point, which will be so 2 times minus 2 is 4, and 1 minus 1 times minus 2 is 2. So that's the image of this point. So from the center 3, 3, we move 4 to the right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, and go up by 2. 1, 2. That's the first point of the triangle. So now let's do this point. How do I move to this point from this center? We have to move right by 1 and then down by 1. So right will be 1 down minus 1 times minus 2, which is, a, which is a scale factor, and then which is equal to 1 times minus 2 is minus 2, minus 1 times minus 2 is 2. So that's the point, that's the image of this point, which is have to we have to go back to the center. Now we have to go minus 2, which is 1, 2, and then go up by 2, 1, 2. That's the point, that's this point image is here. Now the last point is this, how do we go from the center to this point? We have to go right by 1 and up by 1. So right will be 1, 1, times minus 2, the scale factor, equal to minus 2, minus 2. So from this point we go, go 1, 2, 1, 2. That's it. So that's the image of triangle B. I mean, image of triangle A under the enlargement to get triangle B. So join all the points. So this will join to this. And this will join to this point. And this will join to this point. And that is the image of triangle B. Label B, so B is this triangle. Question number eight. So write the number 5130000 in standard form. So we have to move how many decimal places to the left? So one, two, three, four, five. So 5.13 times 10 to the power of five is the answer. So now we have to express your answer in standard form. Evaluate this calculation. 
So what we can do is we have multiplication, so we can multiply these two. So 4 times 6 is 24 times 10 to the power of minus 5 times 10 to the power of minus 4. So that will be what? That will be, uh, if it is multiplication, it will be addition. So 10 minus 5 add minus 4. It will be 24 times 10 to the power of minus 5 minus 4 is minus 9. It will be 2.4 times 10 power of minus 8 and that is your answer for part b question number nine so the diagram shows part of the histogram which represents the distribution of times taken by some people to travel to work complete the table so we have time between 0 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 35 35 to 50 so what is the class width Class width here is 20, this is 10, this is 5, and this is 15, the class width. So here we have frequency density. How do we calculate the frequency density? So we know that frequency density, let's write it here, is equal to frequency divided by class width. Okay, so for part 1, we need to find the frequency. We know that the frequency density is equal to 1. So by this we can derive. So 1 is equal to f. We need to find f for part uh, for this section. And we know the class width is 20. So f is 20. That's the first case. And now for this one, same thing. We need to find the frequency density for the class width 30 to 35. So it is 5. So 5 equal to, we need to find f, we don't know, divide by 5. So f is equal to 25. So this is 25. Okay. So now question part B. Complete the histogram. So we have this is done, this is done, and this is done. So the last part is 35 to 50. We have to find the frequency density. So a frequency density is equal to what? Frequency is 30 divide by class width is 15 will be 2 so 2 will be here and here so we have to join the lines to complete the histograms so that is uh, the histogram for this information